Hi there, this is Abiola David. In this Microsoft Fabric video, I'm going to show you how to use the new Visual Quero window to create a snowflake margin between two dimension tables and one fact table focusing on the left outer join. And then we're going to see how we can use the group by functionality to create revenue for product by account manager and cost of goods sold for product by account manager. Therefore, let's dive in. Now, this is my data warehouse, and I've got, I've got this DBO schema. Now, in the schema, I've got a lot of dimension tables, such as the DIM account manager, DIM customer, DIM customer category, and so on and so forth. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to see the facts table F transaction. So, I'm going to click on the new visual query, and then I'm going to see this visual query one. I'm going to right-click and rename. Let's just call it CAC. Once I'm done, click Rename. And that's lovely. So we can see we can build a report by dragging our tables from the schema onto this canvas. So in this case, we just need three tables. So I'm going to drag the F transaction onto the canvas. And then I want to drag the team product across to the canvas. And I'm going to scroll up and drag across the team account manager. To the canvas so let me see we should have three tables okay let me just drag the dim product again so drag okay so we have the three tables so let's increase to atv lovely now because the f transaction table is currently selected we can see the preview of the data at the bottom here when i click or select the dim account manager table i'm going to see the preview of the data and then when I choose the, the product, I can see a preview of the data. Lovely. Now, I'm going to go back to the F transaction at the top. Now, I can click on this plus sign, and then we can see all the commands in subgroups. For instance, the choose columns, remove columns, remove all the columns are in the manage columns subgroup, and so on and so forth. We want to focus on the combined group here. So, I'm going to click on the match queries. And of course, we can see this familiar window. Now, this is going to be the F transaction table, the fact table. Let me just move this out a little bit. And then I'm going to scroll to the right and I want to create a snowflake margin by taking this account manager key, which is the foreign key. And then in the right table for the match, I'm going to choose the DIM account managers table and then click on the account manager key column. So this is the primary key. Now we can see the selection matches 65,535 of 65,535 rows from the first table. And then when I scroll down, the left arrow join is used by default. So click OK. Lovely. So we can see this amazing movement from the account manager across to the F transaction table. So we're going to repeat the same thing for the DIM product. So choose the match queries and then i will search for the deep products or the product column anyway so the product key okay there we go and then in the right table for the match i'm going to choose the deep product table and then want to create a snowflake margin now this is typical of the vlookup in excel so we have the same selection matches so click okay there we go so we can see the connection between the two tables across the fact table and of course we can see what they are delivering now this return the team account manager and the team product so we're going to see the team account manager key and the account manager columns the same thing for the product now because we'll perform a group by aggregation i'm going to click on this expanded icon and we are interested in the original account managers column so uncheck account manager key and then click OK. And there we go. So you can see the account manager names. Again, click on the expandable icons and uncheck product key and then click OK. So we have the products. Lovely. And then we can click on this plus sign again and then we'll perform the group by operation under the transform table. So click on the group by. 
and then because we want to perform an advanced group by with multiple fields so i'm going to click on this advanced tab and then i'm going to add a new group now because the product column is selected automatically so this is populated for me now for the second group by i'm going to choose this job and select the account manager's column lovely and then for the new column i'm going to call this um, rev for products by account manager so i'm going to copy this control c to copy now for the operation i want to perform a sum aggregation so i'm going to choose, choose the sum and then for the column now i want to focus on the sales amount column again i'm going to click on this add aggregation and okay let me just rename this so this should be red for revenue i'm going to paste ctrl v and this is going to be the cost of goods sold so cost of goods sold for product backend manager for the operation i want to choose the same sum and then for the column i'm going to choose the cost of goods sold column and that's all we need to do I can go on and click OK. And there we go. Lovely. So we can see the rev for product by account manager and cost of goods sold for product by account manager. Amazing. Move this up a little bit and then we can see all the results. So we're going to have um, four columns and of course we have more than 99 rows. I can scroll down and see all the results. Beautiful, lovely. And we can even see when it was completed in 57 milliseconds. Lovely. So that is basically how we can use the amazing new visual query in the data warehouse of Fabric. We can even choose to download this result into an Excel file. We can save as a table. When I just save as a table, I can choose the warehouse to dump it. And I can even specify the schemas to you know, dump the table. And I can give a name for the table, and then I can see the SQL statement here. So they are all there. Once I'm done, just click OK. But I'm going to cancel. I can even visualize the results, but you can always try that by yourself. And the amazing part is basically this flow of transformation from the DIM account manager, DIM product onto the F transaction table. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, give the thumbs up. Thank you and bye for now. Cheers.